Hi everyone, Martina here. Today I'm working on a layout for HipKit Club using their February 2019 main kit. Today's assignment is using my border punches and I've been digging really deep in my craft cupboard to find the two only border punches I own. They are really, really old ones from EK Success, I think. To start, I'm going through the papers from the kit to decide with which papers I'd like to work. And I was having a hard time with the two blue papers to decide which one will be my background. But I finally decided to work with the Pink Fresh Studio Big Ideas paper from Joyful Day collection. After that, I cut down the La La Love blush paper to one inch broad stripes and punched each stripe with my border punch with the big scallops, as you can see shortly. I also have cut some of the Cardabella floral paper from the flower market collection to add some black and white elements to my page. To get some more white and some more dimension to the page and to be able to create some more layers, which were actually in the assignment too, I just rolled a piece of tissue paper and cut roughly some stripes down. I didn't pay attention to be super neat. I just wanted to have lots of stripes to be creative with them. As a last step of the preparations i've been wrinkling my tissue paper a bit so it will be a bit more dimensional on the page and after that i just started to play with the papers and started to build my page since i knew from the beginning that i would like to sew on my stripes after that i've been working with a tape roller that has some just tiny little glue dots on it so it won't um, stick too much to the needle when I'm sewing the stripes onto the paper. I've been sewing on my stripes and I just cut off the axis pieces on the sides and I'm gluing down the stitching on the back of the papers with some pieces of washi tape just to make sure that it won't come off the page. After that I was ready to really start to build my layout and I've been thinking that it could be a, a fun idea to add some more of these ruffles behind the page just to give it some kind of a frame. That's why I just cut down some of these stripes and added them in the same way as I did on the whole page before. To give the picture a bit more of a frame, I just added two layers of tissue paper and added some stripes of 3D foam tape to the picture. Before I've been adding the picture to the page, I added a piece of the Cardabella ephemera to the photo because the saying so many reasons why I love this on the ephemera piece is just a perfect addition to the photo. I used the tiny attacher to make sure it will stick together and placed my photo on the layout. After that I started to build my title and since I usually tend to shift my titles around I normally use a, an empty carrier sheet of alphas and glue down some of the words I'd like to write in my title and can use the sheet to shift the title on the page as long as I'm sure I know where I'd like to have it. So I'm starting to build my title. I was having a hard time with the T's. They are quite nice but quite big. Um, after that the title just formed itself I think. It says, let the good times roll. And it's just nice to have something like these stripes to hold on to when you're writing. 
After that, I've been just adding some more embellishments. I'm going through the Pink Fresh Joyful Day Ephemera pack, which is actually not included in the Hip Kit February main kit. But I was thinking that just it would be okay to, to sneak in some of these tiny bits and pieces. And I will be adding some of the mixed, mixed embellishments, which are actually included in the kit, just off camera. I'm adding some last finishing touches, trying to balance the page a bit off with some of the ephemeras. And I'm adding my journaling to this tiny little card. And yeah, that's it. I hope you had as much fun as I had during creating this page and wish you a wonderful day. Bye.